for Avalanche forward Gabriel Landeskog, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Gabe, to start, thanks for taking questions. I know it's not easy. Um, I guess just you've, you've talked about this, this team being one that you know is in a window where you could contend for a cup. And what just, as best you can describe it, went wrong in this series? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously we, you know, there's so many things I could sit here for 15 minutes and talk about it, but, you know, we try not to live in the past. We try to stay neutral and, and stay in the moment and be present and do what we can. Um, but obviously looking back at it now and evaluating the series afterwards, um, obviously game two, we got away with a win there where I think probably they were the better team. And then game three and four, we, uh, game three, especially, we didn't play good at all. Um, game four, we really competed hard, made mistakes that they scored on in game five. Obviously, we're in control the whole game, and game five is a really strong effort from us, and then we make three turnovers, and they score on all three of them. Um, and then tonight, I thought we fought real hard and, and battled and uh, worked our asses off and, and uh, you know, kept coming back, but... You know, a couple, couple of bounces go the wrong way, and and a couple of shifts where we're not really engaged and we're not really focused. They they obviously capitalize on. Um, but listen, I'm real proud of that group in there. Proud of the season we've had. Obviously, it's you know you you're never really you're never going to be satisfied. You're never going to be happy until you win that final game of the season. So, it sucks, stings. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Yeah, Gabe, the uh, two turnovers in game five obviously really hurt you. And it seemed like tonight the two D zone turnovers led to Vegas goals and really hurt you as well. If you could just comment on that, please. I don't know how much more you want me to comment on it. I think I, I, they scored on it. That's, that's the end of it. I think we, as a group, looking at this whole series, I think we learned a lot. I think we're going to have to learn a lot moving forward. Um, you know, it, it stings right now. It hurts. But, you know, I think with some distance, there's definitely going to be some lessons learned from this one. And obviously, that's a real good team on the other side. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to have to learn from this one and move on. We'll take two more here for Gabe. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. <coughs> Yeah, Gabe, you're such a warrior. You've done so much for this team and organization. I'm not here to bury you. Um, you know, it's like, but uh, yeah, Jesus Christ. I and, mean, you know, you go through the same thing again that you did last year. Um, what are the things that you think off the top of your head that you just think oh, we still need to learn from this last little bit and then we'll maybe get there? Like, is there anything off the top of your head right now that sticks out? No, I'm not. I'm not going to point to one thing that's going to put us over the top. Listen, it's a it's a game of mistake. It's game of mistakes, and it's you know the margin for error real slim. That's that's the end of it. I mean, listen, they hard fought series. And yes, like I talked about earlier, there's there's moments in the series where things went wrong for us, where we're going to have to learn from and and obviously um, minimize some of those mistakes. But it's the margin for error is so small this time of year. And and listen, it. So, really, that's all I got for you. Last one here for Gabe, Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Gabe, the last 12 months have kind of been a bit of a roller coaster with the playoffs last year, starting in August and going into September. Just what has this last year been like, both physically and mentally, for, for you and for the rest of the team? I mean, it's been – it's obviously been been different, but I think we made the best of the situation, and – uh, everybody came to training camp ready to go, and and we were hungry after after the bubble last season, and and obviously we had a real good, real good team coming into training camp, and with COVID and and you know a 300 plus man games missed injury, I think we you know we battled real hard, and and uh, um, you know I think uh, like I said earlier, I'm proud of this group, um, excited to be a part of this group, and I love all the guys in there. All right, thank you, Gabe.